there are so many people out there again who seem to get me, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'd just rather be around those sorts of people. I get you, Rebecca. And we may never meet, but you have a friend from afar. And I like to explain to people things about Rebecca because I want people to understand, you know, there's a lot of people that go in and say hurtful things. And I'm always standing up for Rebecca and it's a headache sometimes. And, you know, I understand how people can be, you know. Um, and I know firsthand how people feel about addicts that won't reach recovery because I was that addict once upon a time. Where do these people know you from? Just from the streets or from my channel or from where? Just in general, I don't know. But they recognize you? Yeah. And it's because the Rebecca that people find uh, endearing or whatever word you want to use is the Rebecca who is somewhat cogent. The, the, more, the more sober you are, the more likable you are. That just reminds me of what my best friend said, my only best friend, um, when she had guests and I'm sober now. So she's like, you see guys, this is the Kristen that I want you guys to see. The guy, the, the Kristen that you guys, you know, you don't see like sober Kristen is the best Kristen. I love this, you know, and, and she said that people would say things about me, you know, um, because of me being out of my fucking mind, you know, because I have been really out of my fucking mind, like the same, but different, you know, like it's every addict is different when they're out of their mind. So be quiet just for two minutes so I can get you a, a key to the room and you couldn't do that. Sorry. Meth is one hell of a drug. Alcohol is also one hell of a drug. You're insane when you're high or when you're, when you're lacking a week of sleep. Even me, who, who really wants to help you and, and will bend over backwards and drive downtown just to connect with you. Yeah. I just want to just throw you in the, in, the, in the dumpster yesterday. You were so impossible to deal with. I know I've had people saying similar things to me as Mark says to Rebecca. Seriously. I fucking know. Yeah, I'm really famous out here with my goals and on YouTube. But anyway, and also, I've stayed here before. Mark, there's a chair right down there around the corner. We'll try that one. You I won't get in there either. I will, Mark. You can try. This is this exact scenario it's gonna is going to happen it's gonna everywhere. Be great footage, Mark. Let's go. You want to try again? Walk with me. You have no idea how much this hurts me. I am a real person. Pussy, vagina, fucking dick. There's no hotel that's going to take you. To the continental, sweetheart. Like that. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having so much faith in me. I'm just telling you. You could have maneuvered that in a way where they didn't do that, but thank you, Mark. <laughs> Grab me that motel room. How about going there? What about motel you took me to? The one that was by the Ramada. The one that was kind of like near Koreatown. How about there? Bigger room. Latino boys. See me there, Mark. God, please. Or if you just want to do the continent and throw me a hundred bucks like I don't even matter to you, which I know I don't, but it's fine. Yeah, then you can just do that. Yeah. That's what we're used when to. You're, when you're in this state, you're not going to get shit. I told hotel before, Mark. Yeah, but you weren't in this crazy, out-of-your-mind state. They're not going to let you in any hotel. The Continental probably won't even take you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for just being so helpful about I'm it. I'm just telling you. I'm sorry this offends you so much. You're not the one being called a clown in your face. So I didn't think I even belonged in your car. Because I'm wearing a wig and heels. Worse. No, it's because you're out of your mind on drugs. Because of your dick. I'm sober, Mark. Fuck. You're not sober. I did not do any drugs last night. Fuck. But well, then you're out of your mind. Some guy told me some fake crap. I am out of my mind, Mark. I 
that's what you liked about me. I thought that's what made it so appealing. Oh, Rebecca, everyone loves you. Well, they love me because they got me, Mark. When you're really addicted to something, you want to avoid it in a conversation at all costs. You don't want it being brought up because then you have to acknowledge it and then you have to acknowledge the problem of it that you have with it and then you don't want it to be brought to the attention of others around you. You just want to deny, deny, deny like I've said before. So when Rebecca says, I'm sober, I haven't had any drugs and then something about fake crack, you know, but being sober, you know, denying like, of course, Rebecca is not sober. But that's the thing about addiction, again, is you don't want to bring it up. And when you're under the influence, you don't want anybody to even know it, especially if you're an addict. Assuming that others are putting you down when you're in a whacked out state of mind, when you're high on whatever it is, even if you're not high, like if you're anorexic, like Eugenia Cooney, she does the same thing, which when Eugenia Cooney is on TikTok on live, People are saying things to her about her weight, you know, things dealing with her weight. Like, hey, um, glad to see you're in recovery or something like that. And she's like, I don't have anything to recover from, guys. You see, it's, it's blocking that addiction subject out completely so that it doesn't have to be acknowledged. Um, victimhood is also kind of a, a really weird trait when it comes to addiction. Um, you really think that people around you think the worst of you. So you put yourself down in front of them and they don't realize it. It's causing drama. And like trying desperately to find self-worth when you're out of your mind, you're going to say things like, you know, I know I'm trash or, you know, I know I'm a piece of shit and stuff like that. So. What do you think of this lifestyle? What do you think of this lifestyle that you keep chasing? <laughs>